I've said before that flurfs and similar conspiratards are legitimately dangerous. Usually these concerns are dismissed, because who are they hurting really? So they think space is fake. So what? Space exploration will continue on without their approval. So they think the Earth is flat. So what? It's going to keep on spinning whether they realize it or not. The problem is, they don't just believe in a silly pizza land. Their belief necessitates some much more nefarious and horrifying details in order for it to be plausible to them. Effie is often seen as the gateway conspiracy, and there's a good reason for that. If a government were able to conceal the shape of the very ground you stand on, their reach instantly becomes limitless. The nameless, faceless they could achieve absolutely anything they wanted. And of course, they wouldn't stop at the shape of the earth. When you dive into this rabbit hole, you will find that very quickly, you begin to believe that every world event is a hoax, like the coronavirus. Meet Flat Earth Fokker. That's Fokker. You hear me, YouTube algorithm? Fokker. Not Fokker. Remember him? If you don't, here's a little reminder from an older video of mine. Whenever my interlocutor says something stupid, I'm going to take a shot. We'll see if I survive. <laughs> that are based on a globe. Um, so you just said it's based on a globe. So you you are already assuming a globe without having approved the globe. I'm assuming that the compass rose on my chart is different on the right side than the left side because it is. I couldn't see what you were saying over here, over here, over here. I, I don't know what you were pointing at. I can believe that. That is what we are told, yes. It, 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 that's what you are told, and that's what I observe. Sure. Okay, uh, thank you. Flat Earth Fokker, unfortunately, hails from my country of Canada. Though he's on the west coast, so really, he's just California light. Fokker has taken it upon himself to show everyone that the COVID-19 virus is just a hoax. Shout out to Trolls vs. Trolls for grabbing this footage of Fokker from a news program that must be so bored with quarantine that they gave him attention. Roll it! Cover your cough, separate yourself. Matt Parhar is at a drive through testing center. Man, they're like freaking out. Keep windows rolled up. There's a sign over there that's saying keep windows rolled up. When he shouldn't be. What a joke. So my first question, naturally, is what's with the mask, dude? Why are you wearing one? I'm not wearing one in reality. I don't have to and neither do you. But you did. Why? The COVID-19 denier and flat earth believer posted this YouTube video Thursday at the site in Burnaby. He said he didn't know he needed a referral. Oh, I'm sure he didn't know. Props to the news agency for pointing out that he's a flurf. That's some nice priming to let people know this guy isn't just a virus denier. He's an outright moron. It's just sad how, how people are just self-isolating themselves, just perpetrating that fear. This comes two weeks after Parhar's yoga studio in Delta was shut down after he misled members in claiming hot yoga fights the novel coronavirus. Ah, there it is. So which is it, Fokker? Is the virus fake, or does hot yoga cure it? It can't be both, but only one option is profitable to you. But hang on. Let's go back to what he said about perpetrating fear. Perpetrating that fear. How is trying to fight a pandemic perpetrating fear? You know what I think perpetrates fear? Telling people the virus is a government hoax to control them, and that they're all slaves in the Matrix. Your brain is miswired six ways from Sunday, Fokker, and it's firing some serious po neurons in my direction. He claims the studio's license was suspended because of a miscommunication with a bylaw officer and he wasn't clear about the new guidelines. Still, he continued breaking physical distancing rules according to this video streamed live on Sunday of a meetup with children and adults. First, thank you for blurring the children's faces, news agency. I appreciate that because I'm sure Fokker didn't do it. Second, what an asshole. Seriously, because you want to show the government that you're no slave, you decide to endanger children 
who are one of two groups most at risk right now. Yeah, you're a real big man. Also, your haircut is really stupid. So I'm glad I had it. One meetup at my yoga studio before I closed. So we didn't get any harassment. We didn't practice social distancing because crap vid 19 is a uh, crapid 19 is a complete hoax. You guys have a weird obsession with really bad nicknames. Crap vid? You even had to reword it yourself because crapid sounded too stupid. Just give up, dude. Besides, you've contradicted yourself again. If it's a hoax, then your yoga studio is profiteering. If it's real, you're still profiteering because viruses aren't scared of yoga. Then there's this one. Just trying to see where I should go. Cardiac, where's respiratory? Parhar is seen walking through Royal Columbian Hospital over the weekend. He says he was investigating whether the pandemic is real. Look at this. In a lengthy phone call with Global News, Parhar cited his freedoms under the Canadian more. Charter to not believe everything he's told. Here's what BC Solicitor General has to say. There is a small minority, a very small minority, like this idiot, um, who are doing what they're doing. You're not essential. <laughs> Don't cough all over me. <laughs> That's some nice editing. First, props to old white man in suit for just outright calling him an idiot. Idiot. Canadians have no chill. Second, Investigating a hospital to see if the virus is fake? Idiot. That's like that scene in Road to Guantanamo where the American soldiers just outright ask the Tipton Three, Where's Osama bin Laden? Like they're Batman interrogating the Joker. Have you met Osama bin Laden? No. Where are they? What exactly do you expect to find in a hospital, Fokker? Aside from, you know, hurting sick people. Because that's what you're gonna find. You're not going to find a gigantic barrel labeled fake COVID injections. Lastly, coughing on people? Now you're just being a dick. Even if there wasn't a pandemic, I might kick your ass if that was me. That's just gross, and I don't know what's been in your mouth. Farnworth says Parhar's actions have been reported to and will be investigated by police and charges could be laid. He's calling on the police to investigate? I say bring it on. I say tell the police to go investigate where this pandemic is. There is no place for this kind of activity by, uh, to put it bluntly, a narcissistic, self-centered idiot. And that's what this individual is. Neetu Garcha, Global News. Yeah, fucking vape nation, bro. Narcissistic, self-centered idiot. God damn you, tool. You know, it's amazing when you choose to be a corporate slave and when you don't. That vape in your hand was probably made by a multi-million dollar company. Doesn't matter that you bought it at Samir's gas station. I bet I could invent a credible conspiracy about how the chemicals in that vape are affecting your brain and making you more of a mindless zombie for the big bad day, and you'd buy it. You'd drop that thing tomorrow. Thank you again to the politician for calling Fokker exactly what he is. Narcissistic, self-centered, idiot. 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 Where's the pandemic? It's everywhere, dude. That's what a pandemic is. People are dying. People I know personally are dying. Why is it that when good people die, you guys have nothing better to do except turn around, pull down your pants, and take a nice steamy slam right on their graves. Have you no dignity? Have you no sense of social justice? If you see a problem, you should do something about it. People like Fokker aren't doing a goddamn thing. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, which is Dead Kennedy in Space. If you want to support me further, consider donating on Patreon or purchasing some of my work through Amazon or Teespring. Thank you, and I'll see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. Live there, on the mode of dust, suspended in a sunbeam, in a fast cosmic arena.